That is disgusting. If someone poured any of these out and they were glowing, I simply <laughs> wouldn't. I wouldn't question it either. <laughs> <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and I am back this week to ease myself into it. We're going to do something a little bit different than tasting wines. We thought we'd mix it up this week for a little bit of fun and check out one of the fastest growing drinks categories globally. But before we get into it, make sure to hit like, subscribe. It massively helps us out with the YouTube algorithm, helps us out, do what we do on a weekly basis. So let's get straight into it and try out some of the cheapest seltzers you can buy. <laughs> I feel like I need to get into like salsa uniform. So yeah, that, that'll do. I feel I feel seltzery. All right. all right, let's go. Looks like water. They all look like water, and it smells like soft drink. I think they're all going to do this. Uh, what does it smell like? A passion fruit or something? Number one, maybe. Dude, that smells terrible. <laughs> that smells radioactive. It smells like you've just kind of like taken a nice big whiff of just candy all sorts. Well, it's definitely like passion fruity. It's got that kind of golden circle fruitiness to it. It's actually like grassy. It smells like fresh, fresh cut grass kind of. It kind of just tastes like, you know, like sparkling waters that you've had. Oh, that's what seltz seltzers are, I guess. But I was expecting these to have a bit more of like a UDL sort of flavor to them. How is this shit popular? That's disgusting. It tastes like soap. In fact, you expect it to be sweet, but it's not. It's just like water that's alcoholic. It's like creamy. It tastes creamy. I don't know why. It's like it's got this like really black tony texture. Boring. Like no stars for me. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy that at all. I wouldn't spend any money on that. That's just boring. Number two. Okay, this smells a bit more like. You know what? This is actually gonna reveal. This is gonna reveal that I've got no palate because those guys will actually figure out that like, ah, oh, this smells like X, Y, and Z, and I'm just stabbing in the dark with different fruits. It looked exactly like number one. It actually has a slight tint to it. This feels very like confectionery, like, really fake. It's tap water. Did you put tap water in this locky? It tastes like nothing. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun. It's like, it has those kind of red cordial vibes. It is like that raspberry flavor. This smells slightly more appealing than the first one. Uh, this actually smells like something instead of everything bad. Your shitty housemate has poured out all of the cordial except a tiny bit and it's nowhere near enough for a glass but you still feel like cordial so you put it in a glass then put the water in it and it's just like, oh yeah. This was in the same room as flavor once but realistically that just tastes like water. But comparing it to something like beer, it's not a lager, it's like a pale ale. It's got some flavor to it. Six and a half out of 10 for me. Number three, uh, again, looks like water. Oh, that smells like Rose's Lime Cordial. Real Lime Cordial shit. That's ac this actually smells really good. Okay, this one smells like Lemon Lime. Um, I think I'm gonna be more on board with this one, unless they've just like spritzed some sort of perfume in here and it's still gonna taste like Weed Cordial again. Let's find out. Smells like, like you could probably trick me into thinking that I am actually smelling a, um, like a poorly made uh, gin and tonic or quite a dilute gin and tonic. It's like even, it's even mineral. It's got like, it's got like Riesling vibes. This one does a little bit more in your tongue. It's actually got a bit of like a tingliness to it, which again is reinforcing my citrusy vibe, like a lemon lime. This is nice, I like this. I would hope it's very cheap because there's not a lot of length, there's not a lot of depth. It's not obviously the way that you would be drinking these things, but if if I had a you know gun to my head, you know, what would I choose out of the first three? I'd be choosing this. Yeah, eight out of 10, I'll buy a carton of that, it's great. Number four, there's a little bit of spritz uh, going on, but I doubt it's a German Riesling. Oh, fuck's sake, Lockie. Okay, uh, this is more like a stone fruity, like a peach sort of smell to it, I think. Oh, it could be watermelon. Could have this like zap watermelon zappo thing. It smells like absolute bubble gum, like hubba bubba, um, like bubble bill. If you've ever had bubble bill, Fuck, that's sweet. That's not what you want seltzer for. It's like fake, sugary, like lolly stuff. And it's just like, it's so sweet. Oh, that is disgusting. Why, why? There are, why? There are like, there is like shit that grows on trees and vines, like grapes or even grains that, that would be less effort uh, to make more interesting shit from, like why you would persist. I'd have one if someone gave it to me. I'd never purchase this. I would ne absolutely never purchase this. But if someone gave me one of these, I'd probably drink it. And then if someone, would you like another one? I'd probably say, no, thank you. Have you got anything else? Like a glass of wine or a beer? Or that last seltzer. That was really nice. Number five. 
uh, of the most brutal tasting that I have done in a very long time. It smells like sweat. The first few were quite distinctly like passion fruit, raspberry, lemon lime, peachy deodorant. Now this is just smelling like fruity stuff. I would say there is an argument that these drinks appeal to children. Um, and for that reason, I am confident that seltzer number five appeals to Henry. I reckon this might be a whole bunch of field blend. Um, oh, grape, I reckon. Kind of tastes like grape hubba bubba, like that fake grape flavor. There's a, um, a minerality here that I actually don't find very appealing. It's almost alkaline. It's almost like drinking like that mineral water. Sunscreen covered cardboard. That's gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, keep this away from me. Not the worst, not the best. Probably sitting, this will probably be my fourth or fifth favorite out of the loss. Pretty weak. I haven't got much else to say about fake grape. I'll be interested to see if the other guys pick up something else because it doesn't really smell like grape, but it just kind of tastes like that fake fruit flavor that is quite common in um, infection. Number six, it's like banana -y. it's like ripe banana. It smells not as bad as the rest. Yeah, no, this is this is this is a this has got breakfast vibes. It's actually like a tropical breakfast. It's some kind of tropical flavor. I actually don't mind it. Um, ah, that's a really distinct uh, smell. Oh yeah, mint, idiot. <laughs> it's mint. Again, this is uh, one of the few that uh, has a really interesting palette shape. It's not as exciting as I think it was number four, number five. Um, this here actually has a little bit more weight um, and a really sort of fun zippy acidity. Strawberry mojito or a watermelon mojito or something like that. It's, it tastes like a pink earth flavor. It was like a six out of 10 for me. I think it's like, it's got a place I'd have a four pack. I wouldn't smash heaps of it, um, but I like it. Don't mind it. Probably my third favorite. Uh, Dirt mint. Didn't see if the boys think the same, but yeah, and also find out how much alcohol I've just drunk. So we'll find out soon. Welcome back. All right, guys, what did you reckon? Um, this was okay. I mean, was it torture? It was torture for me. <laughs> really not fun at all. All right, number one. It's passion fruit, right? Absolute passion fruit. Passion fruit, passion yeah, fruit yeah. Right? It's this is this is the thing about the blind tasting game. It's not hard to guess what flavors they are. What is it? What is it, Lucky? What have we got? Is it passion? Is it purple flavor? Is, is, is it purple passion fruit flavors or mango? Seven dollars. Seven, seven dollars a can for that. Seven dollars a Get can. Get out of fucking town. I told you it was purple. It was indeed purple. It's yeah. not quite capital purple, but shit. How hard is this? Island fever. Passion fruit. Less than 95 calories. I think Wait, these are more than spent. cruises. Yeah, these are way more than cruises. Yeah, dude. Like, that, this is the thing. It's a very interesting bracket of price. Um, I would not pay seven dollars for that. Number two, what are we? Uh, Absol absolute red oh, cordial. This yes. is yeah. absolute. Yeah. This is weak cordial. Yeah. yeah, this is. This got me like back to the pub, playing pinball machines, getting the little tiny lollies off the with the claw. That's it. The the frogs, red frogs. Yeah, hundred percent. What what was number two? What 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 do we have number two? Was it raspberry? You know what? Six dollars fifty. It's gonna be a red can. Liberty. 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 Because this is 63 uh, calories, calories per can. Raspberry. Three and a half percent alcohol, so less it, alcohol. So it is raspberry. 50%, <laughs> 50 cents less alcohol. Are these made with real fruit? 0 0.7 standard drinks. 0 0.7 standard drinks? For $6.50. Oh, me? What like, you... if, so, just don't drink alcohol. When you it's, look at, when it's you... money in a pit. When you look at this can, it's low sugar, so there's no sugar in it. It's natural flavors, vegan friendly. There's could, no alcohol in it. What are you just, charging for? You could for? just have like non-alcoholic seltzer, like like something that's spiked with a little bit of a raspberry flavor and yeah. bubbles, and would it in effect largely be? You could, why? Why? <laughs> Number three was my one that I, I if you had a gun to my head, I would I would drink this and not yeah. complain. This is this, this is my this is my favorite easily. I'd grab a carton of that. No worries. Um, I'd be happy like if you, as I was saying like if you're going like a riverboat camping trip or something like that. Having an esky full of these, yeah. As I just need something refreshing. Bang, off yeah. you go. What do we got? Bam. I've got expensive tastes. Oh, it was the claw! Oh, it was on the claw. Let's go. Oh my days. I mean, Maybe this is, it is known to be the one that everyone drinks, right? White yeah. was the most popular one. And, and in the lineup, it stood out and was the best. Yeah. Natural. Lime. Natural lime. <laughs> Natural lime. Cool. I mean, uh, like I said, it was the it's least offensive. It. Yeah, it is least offensive. It's fine. It doesn't it doesn't thrill you. It's not the most exciting. But is it refreshing? Yes. <laughs> Moving right along. 
All right, this this was uh, so far the most offensive. Oh, uh, really? Uh, yeah. This is my favourite by far. Really? <laughs> this is sweet as. This has got so much sugar in it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got, Lucky? Six bucks, well, it's value. You and your peach can get out of here. Saintly. This is a whole... Holy watermelon! Uh, <laughs> um, Australian made. Cool. And a bunch of these are actually Aussie made. How much sugar um, is it? As well, as sugar. Uh, Zero. But I, that doesn't mean it's got no sweetness in it. It's oh, got to be, be stevia be, ridden. Yeah. No, no. What is a, a, a Rithritol? A natural sweetener. Which is a natural, yeah. yeah it's sugar cane spirit. Oh, yeah. Spirit. Yeah, yeah, it's got it's got a sweetener in there. Now this next one, this next is one? the most offensive beverage in this lineup. Is it because it smells like sour nerds? It smells it's because it smells like sunscreen. It's it it's it's it yeah. smells like sunscreen and cardboard. It is the worst drink in this lineup by a country mile. Uh, uh, all right, what do we got? What, what was it? Seven seven dollars down really the drain. Expensive, is expensive, man. Yeah, they are. Smirnoff. Ah. They come Smirnoff. on RCD, Raspberry you? Rose. Once again, Smirnoff, you have failed Raspberry to impress Rose. me. <laughs> and it's not even Rose. Like there, there, there should be some like misleading stuff. Is there going any? On. Is there? It, it's not even pink. It doesn't smell like raspberry. In fact, that first one was raspberry, right? The second one second, was raspberry. Second one was raspberry. I oh, don't know. They all smell the same to me. I don't pick up raspberry there, right? Nah, not nah, at all. Nah, I pick up absolutely. grape, like grape flavor. Like grape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe um, that's the rose thing. What was wrong with double blacks? Oh, Dude, nothing is when, wrong with double blacks. Uh, no, like, why did they get in this? in the same in the same spot of your BWS? You can see sugar-free double blacks. Just, just have those. Four double blacks and you're having a bad time, or a really good time. Depends how you like your time. Uh, oh, what what were we go? What was, what was that last one? Yeah. Seven dollars. What? <laughs> Shock. Good, uh, good tides. Good tides. Raspberry. Is this like a good vibes, good tides? Yeah. I was hoping, I was actually hoping to find something that I really enjoyed in this and I really didn't. I, I fail to see, especially for the dollar value that you're you're putting out there. Yeah. Like what happens? Bench blends. If you put them all together. Maybe yeah. we find something that is <laughs> like... <laughs> We're about to Frankenstein Celsius. They're all into what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? What have they done? Do you think that this is going to take taste any different to any of them? No, they all smell the same. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells the same. Yeah. It just smells so like infected it, something or other and tastes like nothing. It's it's a category that I don't know the longevity of. That, that genuinely tastes the same. It tastes like exactly that tastes the same. Ex yeah, like it's, it's just... It's called citric acid and bathing water. That's what it is. That's pretty much it. With a shot of vodka. This is bizarre because like, I sh I've seen all of the memes about like, oh, how good are White Claws, rah, rah, rah. And like... Was better than the rest. It was the best one. Yeah, but how many things are there that you'd rather drink? Like, they're more expensive than cruises, and cruises are way more fun to drink than this. So is wine. On that note, guys, thank you so much for chiming in. Until next week, we'll be here.